so excited to share my first ever River Island haul. If you love feminine styles that are very classic with florals and flowy dresses, tiered items, pretty things, I think you'll really love this brand. I love Love Shack Fancy. I did a whole video dedicated to all of my collection as well as some of the different items that are very similar to them, including some of the items in this haul. I also love Free People that is very feminine and flowy and it kind of ha captures that spirit as well. I did a summer haul a couple of weeks ago as well that you might want to check out. And I also love designers like Ola Johnson and Farm Rio that are just very pretty and feminine. So if you love those kinds of pieces in your wardrobe, definitely recommend that you stick around and watch the video. Also was surprised to find an awesome pair of sandals that are very Chanel inspired and a couple of blazers that I'll show you at the very end. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, a very warm welcome. If you love fashion styling videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll get right to it. So this first dress is just a beautiful, easy wrap dress. I'm a big fan of wrap dresses. I think they are so flattering on so many of our body types. I tend to be a little bit more bottom heavy. I'm very curvy. I have bigger hips and I like to accentuate my waist whenever possible. And so the wrap dress is really a great way to do that. The reference for this whole video, I'm 5'5", so you can kind of gauge as like how things look on me from a shortness perspective or how long the dresses are for your own height. This has a very pretty kind of lace trimming that is very Love Shack Fancy-esque. I'm really impressed with the quality. It came completely wrinkle-free. Really love it when that happens. Sometimes when you order online, it's just so disappointing to get ever something and it's like all smashed up and wrinkled. This is a beautiful T-length dress that I didn't expect to love as much as I do. It is so beautiful. I can't even describe it. It's just really, really flattering. It's got kind of that Bridgerton kind of empire waistline. It's asymmetrical cut and just beautiful blue and purple watercolor type of Monet flowers. Super beautiful and feminine. And I think it's just a great dress for a fancy brunch or even like a rehearsal dinner or it's very, very easy to dress up. I'm wearing it right now with some like wedges that are not very fancy at all. But if you have some beautiful pumps with some thin heels, then it would look a lot fancier or even some uh, flat shoes with sparkles or something like that. I think that this dress is definitely a winner and I hope that it's still in your size because it's beautiful. I love this dress way more than I thought I would. It has a beautiful kind of what like blue flowers that are kind of like corn, corn flower blue. And I love a yellow and blue combination almost as much as blue and white. And it has adjustable straps here. So to really like, you can really cinch your waist if you want to. I'm wearing a small, I'm usually an extra small. So definitely size up if you can. It's a little bit on the shorter side. It's right above the knee, not quite halfway through your thigh, but it's a little bit on the shorter side. I love the bohemian sleeves that have this elastic here for just a pretty feminine look. It reminds me a lot of the very classic popular Love Shack Fancy dress that you've probably seen before that I covered in my last Love Shack Fancy haul. And the skirt definitely has a nice little swing. It's got lace detail halfway through the skirt and then again at the very bottom, which makes it look a lot more expensive than it is. This dress is a lot like the T-length dress that I showed you earlier. There's just some differences. It's got buttons all the way down the middle. They're only real buttons down to the waist, unfortunately. I kind of like real buttons all the way down, but it also has a cute little tie here on the sleeve. The material is pretty interesting. I can't say I have anything like this. It feels like it would be very easy to clean and not quick to wrinkle, which is a huge bonus. It doesn't have pockets, but I think it's just a pretty, like I think you can wear it with like a denim jacket and booties and make it very pre-fall. Maybe even get some stains on it and have it be very easy to clean. <laughs> I'm excited to show you these two different blazers. They're both very different, but kind of similar. They will dress up any outfit, but they have such a fun element. This one has these sleeves that are have feathers like at the very ends of them. And it hits just such that it doesn't kind of get into everything. Like sometimes if the sleeve is very busy, like sometimes it can feel like it intrudes with just getting around, but that was not the case with this. It's just long enough that it doesn't get in the way. I love the black and white plaid look. It's such a classic way to mix patterns. Make sure to check out my how to mix patterns video where I really leverage these types of prints that are very classic and mixing them in with polka dots and different stripes and things just to elevate 
the looks and to just kind of have like a little bit of a street style look. Like sometimes there can be a lot of fun in your closet that's just waiting for you and you already have these prints in there. This one is just a little bit different. It's also that plaid herringbone, but this is red and cream with the black with the gold buttons and it's just such a pretty color. It's a little bit larger. That one's more fitted. It's a little bit more like rock and roll style. This one is more classic, tweed, preppy, but I love them both. I thought I was gonna pick between one or the other, but now that I've tried them on, I, I think I have to have both of them because they both address very different things. Like I think this one is just cozy, classic, like parent-teacher conference or maybe a business meeting and the other one is just like really fun, kind of like suit a little bit different and I just, I think I have to keep both of them. <laughs> I'm styling them with my Veronica Beard pants from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I've never seen a sale like retract an item from being on sale. This was on sale for a long time and then the last week they just retracted it. So if the Nordstrom anniversary sale is still going on when you're watching this video, I wish that these were still available. They are, but they're regular price now. The next item is this awesome gold slip skirt that's got a trend that was actually very popular during spring summer, which was kind of like the floss. And it's a string that you just kind of keep tying around to create different shapes and texture. And so I'm styling those with their shoes, which I'm so excited that they have these beautiful Chanel inspired sandals. I think they're a really comfortable way to dress up any outfit. And I love the gold little detail and have like gold and black thread throughout. They're like very sturdy sandals as well. So I think they'll be great to kind of carry into the fall. This piece is very resort wear or vacation. I love a two piece set. I think it's awesome because it looks like a dress in some situations, but then you can always style it differently and wear a different top with the bottom and vice versa. Like this top would look really cute with some high-waisted jeans or maybe some high-waisted shorts. So there's a lot of versatility in it. It is a beautiful tiered skirt that I really love. It kind of reminds me of something that I had when I was very, very little. As a wedding I was in as a bridesmaid and I'm styling them with red shoes right now because it's just great for like kind of a date night or if you're a wedding guest at a beach or something, I think it's a great outfit. I will caution that this is very, very high. So it hits me like right underneath my rib cage. So if you don't like showing your tummy, I probably wouldn't recommend it. The skirt is very high waisted. So it's not like you have your stomach sticking out. I haven't shared any of these pieces on Instagram yet, but I usually do. And I end up styling them to the fullest with purses and bags and everything in a very real life style situation. So if you're not following me there yet, make sure to check it out. If you love some of these pieces, make sure to check out my Love Shack Fancy Haul where I share my collection with you, as well as some of the items that are still in stock because they're always recycling that particular pattern or some of the dupes that look exactly the same. And also my Free People Haul that's also very romantic, girly, feminine, all the things, and all the flowy things that we saw here along with some unexpected items to really elevate your closet. If you have fun with me today, make sure to smash that like button. It helps me out so much. And thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing week ahead.